All right, guys, so one of the questions I get a whole lot asked all the time in the comments, and you guys write me personal messages, is how did you get your start in the mobile heavy equipment repair business? And I went out here to my brother-in-law shop to show you the very first vehicle that I had as a mobile heavy equipment repair mechanic and kind of give you a backstory. So in 2014 and a half, I had started working for a new uh, natural gas compression company that did fueling. Normally I worked on oil filled stuff, on uh, gas lifts and things of that nature. Went over to same compressors, different technology used for fueling vehicles and everything. Um, worked there for about three months, three and a half months, or maybe four, I think four months. And I had replaced, as a senior mechanic, I came in and I replaced a guy. He went off to start his own deal. So three, three, three and a half months later, all the other employees there started telling me like, hey, that guy's wanting his job back. So I went and asked my supervisor about it and lo and behold, uh, my supervisor was like, oh yeah, he wants a job back. And I was like, well, and I gave him the option. He's like, hey, if you don't want me here, I'll just go back to the oil field. He's like, oh no, 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 we're gonna create a different position for him. Long story short, that was good, you know, good drink and good hunting buddies with him, uh, each other. And they ended up running me off of the company and then ended up being run off because that guy wanted his old job back. And my supervisor was too much of a coward at the time to actually tell me that. Had he told me that, I'd be like, hey, you know, whatever, fine. You know, give me a week to get my stuff out of the truck or whatever. So I digress. On the way home, riding in the passenger seat of that service truck, I had to, they had to take that truck to my house to get all the tools out of it. I texted my brother-in-law, this is my brother-in-law's truck. I said, hey man, I need a job. And he goes, uh, oh man, I'll ask around and I'll see what I can get done. By the time I got home, he was blowing up my wife's phone and then uh, he told me, hey, don't, don't unload anything out of that truck. Bring it up here to the shop. I got like five, six weeks worth of work for you on this heavy equipment. I'm like, okay. So I unload my truck, my tools at the shop, load them in. I, I go and buy a toolbox from a buddy of mine, uh, make payments on it, bring the toolbox up to my brother-in-law's shop, start doing heavy equipment repair. Well, five or six weeks, get everything caught up at his shop and then move, um, and then you know leave and i was talking to my wife she's like hey you've got plenty of people that want you to start working as a mechanic on it why don't you just work for yourself so i did and my brother-in-law had this 90, 1999 f-250 that was sitting at my house anyway needed a water pump he was one of those trucks that he didn't need it at the time you know it's a diesel it's a gas or a fuel hog and i was like hey can i borrow your truck if i get it running and he's like yeah sure so i put a water pump on it did some other work to it got it running and it served me well. Um, I used this truck, had a little magnetic sticker on the side, and I pulled a trailer in the back. And that was my very first mechanic setup was a plain Jane 99 F250. The back wasn't wrecked. Um, that was another fiasco that, it, oh, that was a terrible day. So, and I drove this truck for probably about six, seven months, pulling that trailer behind and just wearing that little five by 10 trailer out, man. I mean, I just, I wore it freaking out. Had to put leaf springs in it a couple of times. And then I bought that green truck and stopped using this truck. Gave this truck back to my brother-in-law and that was it. The story on the back right here, I, me and another friend of mine started a business where we were doing cleanups with a skid steer for brand new track homes or you know brand new homes. We would go in, we would use a skid steer, we'd get all the you know the debris around the house, we put it in a dump, a dump trailer, take it to the landfill and dump it. Well, the idiot that I had, my buddy, was out in the truck one day and I just needed him to back it up. And he just kept backing up and backing up and backing up and he ran the dump trailer into the bed. And so what do you do when you start hitting the dump trailer, the, <laughs> hitting the bed of the truck with the dump trailer? You just goose it and hope for the best. Goosed it so hard, he did that and broke, like twisted the freaking hitch in half anyway. So that was my very first setup. After that, I had that green truck for about a year and then I bought that F450 crane truck and uh, gave this truck back to my brother-in-law. He's had this thing for, gosh, I don't know, uh, a tent. Let me go in here and ask him real quick. How long did you have that 99 F250? Since 2004. So he bought that thing in 2004 and how, how many miles did it have on it? 99,000. It's got what on it now? 177,000 miles. 177, that's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he bought it at 104,000, it's got 177 on it, and um, been tried and true. It needs a transmission, just like every single diesel truck out there now, but um, that wasn't of, uh, anything to do with <laughs> Wasn't anything to do with Chad's fault. I, I'm not gonna go into details. It wasn't my fault, I'm not hinting at that, but uh, my brother-in-law, 
He and I started mechanicking professionally about the same amount, uh, same time back in what, 2002, 2003? I started in 1998. 98? Oh, at a uh, budget? Yep. Okay, so he started about 98. I started a couple of years after that. And both of us have kind of flip flopped around. We went to uh, uh, cars, we went heavy equipment, uh, or cars, we went to oil field and heavy equipment. And now he's completely gotten out of doing the mechanic stuff in. He's making these, uh, like I've never seen, I've seen this done, you know, on like Instagram and things like that, but they make these epoxy countertops, epoxy uh, coatings, epoxy everything. And I told him, it's like, man, I, I really want to come out here and I really want to film this, you know, try to help promote the, uh, the, the business. Cause like I said, it's my brother-in-law, married to my sister, anything that I can do to help, helps my family out, right? So we got a couple of things set up. I, there's one thing that I, I, he came up with this idea and I thought it was like, it was, it was incredible, but I had him build this desk, or start building this desk, and you can tell, what was this called? Uh, Black Galaxy. So Black Galaxy. And I had him build it for the house that I'm renting in Stephenville, and then we decided to move, and I was like, hey, uh, can you do something with that desk <laughs> in the meantime? And he's like, yeah, I'll build you another one. So he's gonna build me another one. And he also had the, uh, he added the ability to use a CNC router. Is it a CNC router? So he can actually route logos and stuff in here. I was gonna have a, this logo and a decal put in the middle of the desk for the YouTube videos and everything. And he's like, hey man, I can, I can actually engrave that stuff now. So I'm gonna have him do a different one. I have a sample here. Yeah, so this is the actual, what he uses is over there in the very back behind that whiteboard, there's a, a router, a CSC router set up and it actually digs in here. Um, puts in, you know, whatever kind of color and everything. And so I want to have him do that with my, uh, my logo on the actual desk itself. But that CNC router it's set up, is, I've never seen anything like this either. So this thing's pretty cool. But it's just got two chains on each side. So we handmade that. That's all handmade. So the whole it's thing's handmade. It was a, uh, the actual uh, chains and the servos are a kit, right? Yes, it comes, well, we bought them separate. And then um, there is an online kit for the Maslow. Mm -hmm. and uh, we actually extended it because it's only supposed to be for a four by eight sheet. Well, on a four by eight sheet, you lose six inches because the way the chain drive and everything goes. Yeah. So we extended it up a foot and out a foot. It uh, uh, added extra chain to it so that it'll pull the CNC machine higher and wider so I can actually get a full four by eight cut. Okay, that's awesome. Chad has come up with uh, doing this epoxy coating system on stuff that I've never seen anybody do. Like, this is the actual uh, shower pan for a, uh, an RV, an inside RV. If you guys have ever taken a shower in an RV, you know, like one, it's way too small, and two, it's usually, it's, I've never seen one this nice. And I've worked on a lot of, you know, like Prevost and like really nice RVs, but built that shower pan, it's all wood. He did it a whole deal himself. This is actually bent wood. This isn't like a, um, uh, he doesn't buy the pan and then coat it. He build, built this to actual suit. This is one of the samples that he has. I don't know, the thing about these is they just don't, man, they look really, really awesome in video, but they look even better and they look incredible in person. And this is uh, a sample for a conference tabletop. And of course, the, it's, I got everything compacted in, but the colors would be more drawn out. Um, par se and it's really light it doesn't weigh anything yeah so an actual four by eight uh conference table with the legs and everything probably maybe only weigh 100 pounds i mean be really easy to move around what did you call this one um i, I don't know i, I call it uh it, we did, it's just a piece of artwork where i actually took it looks like granite stone mm -hmm. and then i took a bunch of colors and just poured it in layers in a cup and then just turned the cup upside down and drug it across and it gave it what they call a dirty pour so this would be like a, a small table uh, tabletop or like behind couches, stuff like that. Um, Bake the clog. He's got a couple of other samples and absolute favorite things that I've seen that he's made. And these are pretty much just samples to kind of like get them out there and kind of show you what he's capable of is he came up with this um, uh, salsa spinners. And so if you recognize the shape of this one, Because it's a revolver. <laughs> it's a 357. So it's just like a. Um, so that might look a little cooler. But he called me and told me that he was making those, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I got to have one." But basically, that's the kind of setup. Like, and, and you can do put anything on this, like uh, uh, chicken wings, whatever you want. You can have a you know a bowl of ranch or whatever. You sit it in the middle, get your chip out, 
You've got a, you know, guacamole, different hot sauce or whatever, kind of spin it around. But again, he has these on his website and he could sell these. And if you want a custom one done, as far as a custom color and the engraving and everything, if you'll look in the description, I'll add the link to his website and his Facebook page. You can write him and say, hey, I've got this idea. I've got this logo. Do you think you can do it? And uh, what's the website called? Fostonefinish.com. So Fostone, that's F-A-U-X. Finish, uh, stone finish. I'll put a, a website right here. Remember, if I put a website link in the video on YouTube on your phone or on your uh, desktop or laptop or whatever, you can't click the link in the video. You have to go down to the description and click the link there. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just YouTube has, doesn't let us hyperlink. That's what that's called. They don't let us hyperlink in the videos. But yeah, if you want to get like your own custom logo or a message or like your last name or something or, you know, like a, we're Cowboys fans. So if you want a Cowboys, you know, is that theme spinner, he can get all that stuff figured out. I actually put a sample up of one that has been routed in. This yeah. was actually made with the CNC machine. So you guys like can't read that says bless this house. I know some of y'all are kind of uh, <laughs> grammatically challenged. Um, you know, and they're just, a, it's just an amazing process. I've really, really been impressed with it. Uh, when he first called me, like, I've never known Chad to do any kind of artwork or anything. Um, when he first called me and told me that he's going to start doing these, I was like, uh, what are you, are you like rattle cannon them? He's like, no, it's like the epoxy. And I'm like, what, like two part epoxy? Like that stuff I glue things together with? And he's like, no, no epoxy. And so uh, I was like, well, okay. So I came up here and I was like, okay, so who made these? He's like, well, I made these. And I still didn't believe him. And uh, now that he's actually like, he's set a shop up and he's been making these things, uh, man, this is, it's just, it's freaking awesome. Like the things that he's figured out it, and the ideas that he's come up with is, uh, it's phenomenal. But uh, you guys know the story, the, the people around me that I can help out in any way, shape or form I can, I do anything I possibly can to help out. And uh, Chad, you started this business. Two, two years ago almost november about, will be two years so november about two years and it's been ramp like getting more and more orders and ramping up and uh, getting custom orders i think the thing that you really want to make is like desks and uh you know, like conference tables and stuff right and remodel kitchens and bathrooms yeah right so if you guys are in the uh, uh north texas area i'm sure you know i'm sure you can get him to travel anywhere but you know the farther you travel the more you got to pay for it um, we're in the North Texas area, but if you guys want custom countertops, you know, for epoxy countertops and you know, anything like this, you just, like you have, and you think, man, it would look a lot better if it was like faux stone or if it was, you know, that the black galaxy, um, coating you can do all that stuff that can do. Can you do the rivers in the middle? Yes. So like, if you guys have seen the rivers, uh, he, I know you made one, didn't you? I did. The problem with, um, those why I don't do those because everybody does them. When you go online, I want to do stuff that things to create things for people that has never been done before. If you can dream it, I'm gonna try to make it. You know, I don't, I'm not scared to try anything. Yeah. So. So yeah, write, them, write them and find like, a, in a, if, if you can't come up with any ideas or anything, um, you're supporting, you know, a, a, a family, you're supporting my family, helping them out, just ordering, you know, some salsa spinners with like your logo in the middle or something like that will help out tremendously. They're you know, pretty easy for him to make. You can crank them out pretty quickly, kind of give you an idea of what, you know, what else you have like so guys give it a shot um get over to the website check out what they have get over to the facebook page hit the like button keep track of what you know like the new stuff that he's going to be putting out and um again i'll do absolutely anything i possibly can on my channel to help promote you know the people in my life the people around me to help make them as successful as possible i know a lot of you guys can use a lot of these and uh, you're you're helping out you know this isn't a corporation it's not a huge company you're helping out my brother-in-law, my sister, and their um, their three kids. You know, my nieces and nephews, and everything by buying this stuff and um, and giving them a shot. You know, Chad is um. There's not many people that I'll vouch for when it comes to like integrity and like getting and taking care of stuff. And Chad is definitely one of those. Um, if he says he's going to do something for you, he'll get it done no matter what. And I don't suggest you guys anything that I don't think that if you spend your hard-earned money on that you're not going to enjoy, you're not going to like. But yeah, check him out. Hit that website down there in the description. Um, if you want something custom done, just uh, write him and say, hey, Chad, I've got this idea. What do you think? How much do you think that would run? Give him a shot and uh, I appreciate it.